In this video I'm going to give an overview of how to set the IP address on your 16-way DVR. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click here and bring up the main menu and click into the network um, option. Now I'm going to stress at this point here, on the set I'm going to show here we're using a grey Aircom router. So it may be different if you're using a different type of router but the same basic principle will apply. Okay. So the first thing we're going to look at is what type of um, uh, connection mode do we want to use. Well we want to use static IP. Okay, so we just collect, select that option there. The next thing here is we move down to the IP address here. So I will have done an IP config earlier and fired, found out the network range that we're dealing with here. So it'll have told us that uh, it'll start with 192.168.001. And after that, it's up to ourselves what number from 1 to 255 we're going to allocate to the DVR. So we don't want to choose a number that's in the very low range because it could be allocated already automatically to something uh, that's inside our office network. So I've decided to choose the, the number 220, but I could have uh, equally chosen the number uh, 221, for instance, okay? Um, if we move down further along the list, the next thing we need to look at is the gateway address here, okay? So once again, we'll have used IP config on our PC, and we'll have seen that the, uh, the, the number for this is uh, as before, but now with the extension 254, okay? And that, that's how, what, what we need to reference and enter here. Um, if we move down through the different things, the next thing is uh, the HTTP port. And um, normally we'd say, if, we, if we're starting this process, we'd, we'd use the port number 80. Now you can see in this case we've used the port number 82, because we know from previous trial and error on this, that port 80 wasn't uh, free when we're looking at the router. So it was being used by another service. So we might then try 81, and then 82 in this case did work for us. And then the media port here, um, this has just been allocated 40,001, 2 or 3, okay? Um, and that's basically all the significant information on this page. So having set that, we'll flick on then to the advanced section and we'll scroll down here and we want to do two things. We want to set the DNS and we also want to set uh, the mobile, okay? So we'll click in here to, to the setup and we'll see that the DNS here that we've entered at an earlier point is the same as the gateway. IP. So it's 192.168.001254. If we had a second DNS, a backup one, we'd enter at this point, but in our case we don't. So we'll, if we were saving changes here, we'd hit apply, but in our case we're simply going to hit exit. And we'll go into the mobile service here, and we'll just see here that the uh, server port has been allocated to it of 0, uh, 0600. And the significance of this is that we just keep a record of this because if we're trying to access the DVR at a later point through a mobile device, we'll have to use this uh, particular server port number. Uh, so once again, I'll just hit exit out and we press exit again and uh, just uh, right click again and we're just straight back out. So that's it anyway, an overview of how to set the IP address on a 16-way DVR.